Welcome to this video, I'm Andrea Gozzi from Redmatica. And this time we will look at how to use Auto Center with uh, your virtual instrument. The very first thing you should do is download and install the Soundflower uh, device, which is an open source uh, device driver for um, the Mac operating system. And you can find it uh, just by Googling around. And uh, once it's installed you will be able to use the Soundflower to connect the audio out uh, of um, an host like let's say Logic to the audio input of Auto Center so you have a direct connection in the digital domain without having to go through your audio card. Um, and the thing you have to check is that uh, your internal MIDI driver, the IAC driver in uh, the OS X is online so you can also have the um, internal MIDI connection active and uh, we can now start Logic you create a new instrument track and you instantiate the plugin you want to sample in this case we have a, a pad we, we created we created with the ES2 and uh, at this point we can launch Auto Sampler and in auto sample, ah, let, let's go one step back. You have to make sure that Logic Pro is using the Soundflower device so that all the sound emitted by Logic goes to Soundflower. Uh, in uh, auto sample, you check that uh, uh, the record input is from the Soundflower device and that the MIDI is sent to the internal MIDI driver. And that's basically it. We decide which note to start sampling. Let's say C1. We want to go up to the A5. And um, we want to sample every sixth note in this case. We want to do it quickly. And for each note, we will take 12 seconds of uh, audio uh, data. And we will uh, do a single velocity. We could do much more, but this is just a quick example of what you can do. Then we have to set um, the project folder. We call it the My Pads. And then you click Start. And that's it. Okay, uh, we have been waiting for five minutes and the instrument is now uh, ready to play. We open the instrument from our desktop. That's it. Now we're playing. From the XS. 